Today we will be building a radiation meter. This meter, called the Kearney Fallout Meter, was designed by a researcher at Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the USA in 1979. This meter will let you measure the radiation you cannot see, much like a thermometer allows you to measure temperature. It works on a simple principle. Two pieces of foil which have been charged with the same static electricity will move away from each other. If radiation strikes the air around the foil, it will create ions in the air which cause the foil to lose its static charge. As the static electric charge is lost, the two pieces will move closer together. The greater amount of radiation striking the foil, the faster the two pieces will move towards each other. To build the meter, start with a clean dry can, 7.5 centimeters tall by 6.5 centimeters wide. This is the size of an 8 ounce tomato sauce can. If you do not have a tomato sauce can, a larger super vegetable can that is 6.5 centimeters wide can be cut or bent to the right height. Then download the patterns to build the meter and open them in your window PDF viewer to print. There are three patterns you need. A for the can sides, B for the lid and foil leaves, and C for placing the string. It's important that the patterns be the right size. Measure the green block on each pattern. It should measure exactly 8 centimeters. If it does not measure correctly, adjust your printout size to be smaller or larger until it does. Preparing the can. Cut out pattern A and tape it to the can. Have an adult help you punch out the marked holes and make two small notches in the top rim. Put a clean, dry, nylon thread or unlaxed dental floss through the holes and tie a knot. Tighten the thread by twisting a toothpick. Take 
take the toothpick, the knot, and the hole. Place a quarter inch of drying material, like silica gel, in the bottom of the 